Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own zipper ride. Now this is a popular carnival ride that rotates around its central axis and then each ride vehicle has its own axis that it freely rotates around as well. Now here are some examples. Kind of difficult to build this in the game, completely accurate, so we'll do our best. So let's get started. First, we're going to take the vertical drop coaster and build a station here, just one unit above the ground. And then we're going to do the flat to vertical piece here with the chain lift turned on. And we're going to build that and then go to vertical, but we need to turn on some cheats to get that chain lift. So we're going to turn on allow chain lifts on all track types, show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, and then allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits. So with those cheats turned on, we can turn the chain lift on and then build up to vertical. But before we build any vertical track, I'm actually going to use the twisted piece here and do two of those and then a vertical track piece facing this direction. Now we're gonna backtrack and delete those twisted pieces. And then now we're gonna go to that vertical track piece and build down back to our starting point right there. And then we can delete these. We just need that one vertical track piece right there. And now we're gonna go to the flat and then come back down and then right here, we're going to stop and then we're gonna to go to the station and actually delete that and backtrack and go up here. And now we're gonna build a vertical track piece here. So you wanna build the track piece that you want the train to travel onto first. So we're gonna build it in this order. So build this track piece here. Now we're gonna go back up to the top here and we need to make sure we turn on the disable clearance checks and now we can build the vertical track piece overlapping the one we already built and there we go and we'll do it on the other side so we're going to build this track piece here because we want the train to go in a circle here with a little bit of track merging so you have to do it in that order now we're going to delete this track piece here and i'm going to backtrack out and put a station and we can just test it now to see if the merges worked correctly and then with it in the ghost test mode, we can watch the vehicles and they should transfer over to the track right here. That looks good. And then as it goes over, it should do the same on the other side. And yep, so that worked. So we can turn off the ghost mode testing. Now I want to delete this station piece here. And then we are going to change the ride type to the wooden wild mouse so we can get those sharp turns in there. And I'm going to do a sharp turn here and then one back. Then we'll build the real station. So with that done, we can now move forward and delete that turn here. And now I'm just going to build the control track. So just two straight pieces, a little bit larger turn here, three straight pieces. And then we're going to turn back around into the station, build the entrance and exit. I'm going to make them invisible for now. And now we have our control track and let's build back in that tight turn there so we can have a connection with the station. So there we go. And now I'm actually going to delete that straight piece of track right here just for now. So with that done, we can now change the ride type back to the vertical drop coaster and we need to build in that missing piece right here that we had deleted earlier. So now we have our complete circuit right there for the zipper portion of the ride. And then now with our ride vehicles, we just want one train and we want there to be 14 cars on this train. So with that done, we can now change the ride vehicle type to the multi-dimension coaster trains. And now we want to put the train back into the ghost test mode. So if we hit that blue flag here, we can spawn our ghost train and it should enter our little zipper circuit here. And as it goes around, everything should be fine, but we want the ride vehicles to rotate to kind of give that effect that they have that free rotation. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's the best we can do in the game. So to achieve that, we need to change the ride type now to the multi-dimension coaster. So now that will enable the option of rotation for the track pieces. So we can select these track pieces in ghost mode and the train will still remain there. So basically you can choose here we have this invisible track piece you can't see it but it's there so let's just set the seat rotation to 270 degrees and then I'm gonna go to the next one and just set it to something like 90 or no let's do 180 so basically I'm just putting in kind of somewhat random rotations for each track piece and in ghost test mode you can actually see 
what you're you can see the rotations and what's happening so if you don't like it you can tweak them without having to you know respawn the trains so that's what's really great about the ghost test mode so here i'm just randomly assigning things like zero negative 90 let's do negative 180 and to finish it out let's go to 180 and then let's go to positive 90 and then now we have all our rotations but again you can always tweak it in this stage so what we're going to do now is we are going to change the lift speed to something higher. I'm going to do 13 miles per hour, but you can play around with it to whatever you think is best. It's not going to look like this once we change the vehicles, so uh, it's going to not operate so fast. So now I'm going to change the ride type back to the vertical drop coaster, and I'm actually going to build back in that little track piece we had deleted before right here. I guess I didn't need to do it as a vertical drop coaster because now I'm actually going to change it back to the wooden wild mouse coaster. So now we can zoom in and we see our overlapping track pieces there. We have the tight turn and the straight piece. So with the ride closed, I'm actually going to change the ride vehicles now to the submarines. I know that sounds weird, but the spacing is correct with these. So we have a 14 car train with 14 submarines. And what we need to do now is go into the operating mode and change it to power to launch, passing station. And then we're gonna set the launch speed to something low, like nine miles per hour. And once that's done, we can now get ready to, let's actually pause the game first. And we're going to test the ride to spawn the vehicles. And then now we are going to open the tile inspector. And you want to make sure this tile right here, that the track on the bottom is the straight piece of track. So right now it's the curved piece of track. We don't want that. So this track right here that selected the straight piece, we want to lower it down so it's on the bottom level. Now we can unpause the game and we're going to quickly pause it. So when the first vehicle is on that straight piece of track, we pause the game and now we're going to move the tile inspector back so that the straight piece of track is above the curved piece of track. Unpausing the game, you'll see that all the submarines behind the first car go onto our zipper track. Pause the game again, and now we're gonna move the straight piece of track back down to the lower level in the tile inspector. And now we have our working control track, and then the other submarines are stuck on the zipper loop. So now we're gonna open up the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have it, the link is in the video description. And we are going to select our zipper ride here, and we are going to change the visuals of the cars to the multi-dimension coasters. And then we're going to go here where all vehicles on this train, we're going to hit apply. So they all are multi-dimension coasters. Now for vehicle one, we need to change the visuals to something like the Cheshire Cat. So if you go to the Cheshire Cats, there's actually two variants. So variant one is invisible, variant zero is a standard cat. So we're going to change it to variant one. So the vehicle one on the train is invisible, which is what we want. So we're done with the plugin now, and we can go in here and change it back to the vertical drop coaster. Uh, and then we can make the track invisible, but we are actually going to make the track invisible in a different way later. So I'm not sure why I did this step, but the excitement rating is not populating. So this can happen with shoestring rides. So what we're gonna do is actually open the tile inspector and we're gonna close the ride. So you close the ride, and then you open the tile inspector and we just need to select a track piece like this and then just raise it up one unit and then lower it back down. And then we're gonna test the ride again and then all of a sudden the excitement rating and whatnot are going to populate. So it's just a little weird thing that shoestring rides can have happen. So now we can actually use the air powered vertical coaster if you want and you're gonna get much better stats and you can make the track invisible if you want. But if you want to change the number of circuits, you need to change it to something like the Twister Coaster. Horrible stats, but it does allow us to change the number of circuits on the ride, so we can use something like 10, so we have a longer ride time. And now I'm going to speed up the game so we can see those stats populate. And they're still pretty horrible. So what we can do to override that is open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin once again, select our ride and hit Edit Ride up in the upper right corner, change the multiplier to 100, and you can hit Freeze Rating Calculation, and you can manually edit the excitement, intensity, nausea to whatever you'd like. It's a little bit of cheating, but that's okay, and you can have nice stats. 
However, uh, I'm going to use a different method. But first, let's rearrange the entrance and exit so that they are appropriate. So open the tile inspector. I'm going to copy the exit building, delete it, paste it, and then I'm going to rotate it, hit make usable, and then the same thing with the entrance building. Copy it, delete it, paste it, hit make usable. And then now I'm going to make the track invisible, make the entrance and exit invisible as well, and then make this station piece invisible like so. So now everything's invisible except the ride footers. Uh, so one thing you do is change it to the air powered vertical coaster. However, I'm just going to change it to the enterprise and it's going to give you enterprise stats, which I think are decent for this ride. So that's all you need to do. It's invisible. Nice stats. Just add some scenery and there you go. We have our nice working zipper ride. I hope that wasn't too complicated. Now, when you're using the Enterprise ride as the ride type, you have nice stats here, but if you do need to change the number of circuits, you'd have to change the ride type back to something like the Twister Coaster to edit the number of circuits on the ride and then change it back to the Enterprise. Overall, I think it's a really fun ride to add to your park. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And as we head into the holiday season, feel free to check out some of my Roller Coaster Tycoon merch. The link is in the video description. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to make many variations of the Skyrocket Coaster. So it's going to be fun. Stay tuned for more.